Hi, my name is Matt Peters, and I'm a member of the Cold Fire Applications team here at Freescale Semiconductor. And this is our Cold Fire Golf Challenge. This is an example application we put together for the Freescale Technology Forum, which takes place every year. And we felt that this would be a good example to demonstrate the capabilities of our Cold Fire microcontrollers. This is the hardware we use for the application. So you can see here, we've built a very small board. On this board, we have the Cold Fire microcontroller, part number MCF5213. In the middle there, you see the XYZ accelerometer, also from Freescale, part number MMA7260. And this very small piece down here is the Zigbee transceiver, also from Freescale, part number MC13192. This board here is from InventSense. It is their standard evaluation board for their two-axis gyroscope, uh, part number IDG300. And this is the golf club. This is a standard pitching wedge donated to us from GolfSmith. And on the back, we have mounted the board. On the shaft, we have mounted the gyroscope. And in the handle, we're supplying power from two AAA batteries. The accelerometer measures acceleration up to 6 Gs in all three axes, and up and down. And the gyroscope detects rotation about the shaft, like this, and about the handle, like this. This is how the demo works. The two sensors that we were just discussing, the XYZ accelerometer and the gyroscope, are constantly sending data to a, the microprocessor. And the microprocessor takes that data and collects it and stores it in a rolling buffer of 800 points. It's just sitting there collecting data, waiting for an impact to be detected. The way that the golf club detects impact when you hit the ball is running a high-pass DSP filter on the microprocessor. Once it detects a high-frequency spike, it knows impact has been uh, detected, and it stops collecting data, takes the data that's in the buffer, runs calculations on it to determine the coefficients of the ball flight, sends them wirelessly to another cold fire board, and that board is connected to a laptop running uh, LabVIEW from National Instruments, and it will then graph the ball flight based on the coefficients given to it from the golf club. So this is what I would do. I would address the ball. And there's nothing fancy about the ball. It's just a plastic ball. I would address the ball, give it about one second to calibrate so it knows the starting point, take a little chip shot. Impact has been detected. The data that was in that buffer has now been used to calculate the coefficients of the ball flight. It's been sent wirelessly to the computer, and the ball flight has been graphed on the computer. So again, I want to, give the, I want to address the ball and give it about a second to calibrate, then just take a little chip shot. As you can see, instantly on the monitor, the ball is flying. Do it again. And again. And if I intentionally try to close the club face as I impact the ball, the ball should go off to the left. Or if I intentionally open the club face, try to hit it off to the right or slice it, it should go off to the right. The real-time data that's being sent to the processor from the sensors, the same data that's stored in the rolling buffer, is also being sent wirelessly to a separate computer. As you can see, if I rotate the golf club around the golf shaft, the yellow line for gyro 1 goes up and down. If I rotate it this way, gyro 2, the blue line, starts going up and down in a sine, in a sine wave as I rotate it back and forth this way. And if I jerk the club up and down, back and forth, you see the X, Y, and Z accelerometers detecting the acceleration in the three axes, and that is also being sent to the monitor. This here is another cold fire board. It's actually the MCF5213. 
52-221 demo evaluation board. And this is the board that is receiving all of the wireless data that's coming in from the golf club. In conclusion, we provided an example that combines microprocessors, sensors, and wireless communications. Although this particular example could be viewed as a sporting goods example or a motion detection video gaming example, the possibilities of applications are endless when combining microprocessors, sensors, and wireless communications. Thanks for checking out our video.